sleep on 9 to 5. It's a Sunday and it's still like during the week. If you want to pull a container, you need to find a way to come up with a truck or you need to find a company and get in one of their trucks. There's companies out here that pull containers. Uh, it depends on where you live and what's available in your area. I know Swift pull in some area, Schneider, um, JB Hunt. So it's plenty of companies out here mega carriers that actually do training that have you pull containers so on them you might have to be with them a certain amount of time before you come over into the container or they might call it intermodal division after you get your training and you want to move on then you could get on with a smaller carrier that pull containers go there as a company drive again a lot of those carriers will need some type of experience okay, pulling container is not like pulling a regular dry box or a reefer these carriers do require um, experience you'll find some that don't but it's not a lot and there's reasons why they don't if you've been following my videos ever since I start doing um, YouTube videos you'll see a lot of container incidents and most of them are just drivers being careless with that container most of them the containers are overweight and that's what caused the problem but if you want to get into it man find a carrier that will put in one of their truck as a company driver and get started like that now if you're looking to buy a truck to come pull containers a few ways that you could come up with the money to buy that truck you could work for a company and save the money up 
go get a truck you could um, get a loan whether it be a personal loan or a business loan and use that to buy a truck if you have liabilities that's not necessary get rid of your liabilities and use that money to buy a truck if you have assets that's generating income use the money from the asset to go get you a truck you could get a loan from friends or families or if you have another business you could get money out that business and put the money towards a truck so there's a lot of ways you could come up with the money to buy a truck one way might not work for you but it might work for somebody else so whatever option you have try that option and see if it works if it don't work move on to another option it's not hard to buy a truck if you want to get into pulling container you want to do it in your own truck get you a truck and get on with it a few carriers out there do lease purchase in the intermodal division so if you find a carrier the whole intermodal and they have a lease purchase option that might be an option for you to pull containers also I'm not going to tell you lease purchase a truck and I'm not going to tell you don't lease purchase a truck it's all up to you it's been a great uh, option for some people and it's been a nightmare for others so do your research on the lease purchase program and if it's something you're interested in Go ahead and do it.